Okay, so we're on the last part of points, lines, and planes, and let's start with relationships between line segments and rays. So one of the possible relationships is intersecting. That means that two line segments or rays will cross and they will share a point in common. That's what an intersection is, whatever is shared in common. So in this figure at right, I could say AD, segment AD, and line DE are intersecting. Or I could say AD and DC are intersecting. So I have a lot of options here for that, uh, for intersecting segments and lines. Another type of way to look at them, and one thing I left off of this, I apologize, we should not just because it looks perpendicular, yes, yeah, should not assume that it's perpendicular. So these are my horrible perpendicular marks that I did at the last minute. And so I'm trying to say, hey, all of these are 90 degree angles. So do not assume it's 90 degree angles unless we mark them that way. So it's perpendicular means a combination of two intersecting lines, segments, or rays, which meet at 90 degree angles. So in this picture, I'm going to look at AB and BG. And you can say that those two segments are perpendicular. Another thing we have is this symbol, which looks like an upside down T. That is the symbol for perpendicular. So the other way to write AB and BG are perpendicular, you can say AB is perpendicular, that's the symbol right there, to BG. And it saves a lot of space. Mathematicians don't like to write too much, more than they have to. All right, now parallel you've been quite familiar with, and that hasn't changed. And again, I need to fill in my parallel, uh, my uh, 90 degree angles, because that kind of helps you figure out some of the things that are parallel. Well, parallel lines are segments, rays, or uh, lines. Par uh, anything parallel never meets. And at least in Euclidean geometry, right? So let's take these two. In Euclidean geometry, they would never meet. And so segment AB and CD are parallel. We also have a symbol for par parallel, which looks like the two L's in the word parallel. So I can actually write this as AB is parallel to CD. Another set of segments or lines is, that are also parallel, BC and GF. And I just went ahead and used segment GF. You're always allowed to use part of a line. And in theory, there's no reason you can't extend this line, the BC. I could say line BC is parallel to line GF. Skew lines are really interesting. These are lines that are not parallel, but they never cross. They never intersect. They share no points in common. And the reason is they are in different planes. So again, assume the 90 degrees here. And uh, actually, you don't need it for this picture so much. So I purposely did D, E, and G, F. So you can see that G, F is passing behind D, E, so they'll never meet. So those are skew lines. So on your example table, it says if two lines intersect, they intersect at two different points. Well, the only way that could happen is if I did some sort of curvy thing like that. Well, if I do a curvy thing like that, then no, that, that's not a straight line. We're doing Euclidean geometry now, so we're back to normal straight lines. So we will say never. Straight lines in Euclidean geometry will intersect at only one point. For our next example, we ask if line AB is just another name for line BA. Is that true? Well, if I have a line, it's got a, point A and point B, and I draw a straight line through it, Yes, this is always true. Why? Uh, we can only draw one line through any two points, and order doesn't matter when naming lines because they go off equally in both directions. So AB, line AB, is the same name as line BA, which means sometimes we can have fun trying to spell things out. Now, this one is ray AB. Is that the same as ray BA? Well, Ray AB would actually start at point A and goes on forever to the right. So it's this way. Ray BA starts at point B and goes forever to the left. So it's that way. No, those are never going to be the same line. They don't have the same endpoint and they don't go in the same direction. 
And now for our last example. If two rays share a common endpoint, then they form a straight line. So let's see, can I draw two rays that share a common endpoint and form a straight line? There you go. So we can do it. Can I draw it differently so this point is shared between both rays, but it's not a straight line? Yes, I can. So they can point in other directions. I can turn one of the rays. So this is a sometimes. Sometimes two rays that share a common endpoint will form a straight line. So for further reflection, what strategy should I use to determine if a certain scenario is always sometimes or never true? Well, hopefully you noticed by the column in your notes, and what I did for each of the examples, I drew a picture. Please, please, please draw a picture and try to think of the different ways you can arrange it and that will make your life a lot easier. All right, and here's a one for you. Why do you think three-legged stools never wobble, but four-legged stools can? Think about a plane and keeping things flat.